Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to customize the Hello World application to change this Hello World text here to um, have like an edit um, text control in here which will allow us to um, allow the user to enter text in here and um, actually um, in the last um, tutorial I was a bit puzzled as to why my console down here was blank and uh, I discovered the reason was that here you can toggle the consoles and um, uh, determine which one is displayed and I had mine set to DDMS DDMS is actually a debugging tool which we'll look at um, in a future tutorial but for now I'm going to switch this back to Android and here we can see that it's actually been telling me that it was installing my application notescroll.apk and um, that it was successful and it's a good idea to keep an eye on this console to see what's happening now I'm going to go into my um, well actually I should explain a little bit about the structure of this application and we'll go through this more in future tutorials but basically everything your um, mobile phone does is um, is like an, uh, is an activity so one screen full of stuff uh, typically will correspond to a activity of some kind and if we look at source here we can see that we've got this main activity.java and that main activity.java uses um, among other things it's got this on create method and that um, has this set content view and it's the set content view that's determining here what the activity will actually display now this is using a constant from this r.java and you can find r.java in this gen folder so you shouldn't edit anything in here um, this is generated automatically and if you look at r.java it, it just includes basically a bunch of constants including um, this um, where are we activity main constant under layout here and that constant actually um, is a way of referring to um, a XML file which you can find under the res which stands for resources folder and the resources folder is where you can put graphics and icons and things and um, there's a layout subfolder there and in this layout subfolder of res you can find activity underscore main .xml. and if we click on that this is what it actually looks like well this is what the um, the visual editor shows you and uh, now we're not going to be using the visual editor a whole lot in these tutorials because it's not very powerful and um, it's you, you really need to get into coding XML by hand although fortunately uh, before you throw your hands up in despair Ecl um, Eclipse Autocomplete will help you a lot so it's not as bad as it sounds um, but there's um, you can't you can only really do um, so much in this emula emulator. Sorry, in this um, in this uh, Visual Designer. So I'm going to click on this. I've clicked on Activity Main, and now I'm going to click on this um, this tab here. So we're looking at the graphical layout, but I'm going to go directly to the XML file. Uh, and the way this works is um, Android. Um, Android XML files, Android lay layout XML files consists of view groups and views and the view groups are things like this, they're basically layout um, tags that um, lay out your various widgets and um, the views or the actual widgets themselves are things like buttons and text areas and maps and that sort of thing so we've got views and view groups and um, this here is the well it's a text view view which just displays some text and if you to find documentation on these things if you go to um, Google and search for something like Android view and um, there's actually this this is actually the with the lowercase v this is the package view and what I want here is the class view with the uppercase V so I'll click on this and um, you can see now a list of kind of um, known subclasses 
Um, although, of course, you can use you can have other views that you've got from external APIs. But if I just click on this this to expand the list, and um, there's a whole load of stuff in there. In particular, we've got stuff um, like um, we've got buttons and checkboxes, and um, we're going to use edit text in this tutorial. There's all kinds of stuff here, chronometer, um, um, all kinds of things, basically. Uh, video view, image view, and so on. So uh, let's go to the edit text here, because we're going to use this to let the user edit some text. So click edit text. And um, this is some documentation on it. And because we're working in XML here, we want to go to this XML attributes section and click on edit text attributes. And um, in case you're not too familiar with XML, I'll, I'll go through it um, real quickly in just a minute. But um, there's some really good documentation um, down here about the stuff, um, the various attributes that you can use in your XML. But let's, uh, let's leave that for, for the moment. Um, so that's enough of that um, for just now, I think. I'm going to delete this text view here. And um, just really quickly, um, if, if you're not familiar with XML, it's worth just having a look, Googling for a little tutorial on it. But you don't need to spend ages on it. Um, just get your head around a basic idea. And a basic idea is really just that you have these tags, which are things that are enclosed in kind of angle brackets. And um, opening tags kind of look like this. It's just they have a opening angle bracket, close angle bracket. They have a, a tag name here and they have attributes which can go here. And this is a closing XML tag with um, the slash there after the angle bracket. And you can also have kind of self-closing tags like this one, where there's no, there isn't an opening and closing tag. There's just one tag that closes with this slash angle bracket. And the attributes are in the format of some text equals and then something in double quotes. And that's really um, sort of in way all there is to XML, although of course there are lots of tools and things you can use for XML. Um, so let's delete this text view here and in its place I'm going to type um, um, a opening angle bracket and uh, the Eclipse Autocomplete has already popped up here. And I'm going to type capital E and then just hit return to accept this edit text. And now I want um, a couple of attributes at least here. And I'm going to type layout underscore were and just press control space for the autocomplete. And that's completed this to Android colon layout width. And here you can specify a width for this view, this edit text view, um, in pixels if you like. But I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use match parent. I'm going to type M control space and that autocompletes match parent. And that means that um, the width um, of this view is going to fill the, the width of the parent view group, basically. So it's going to take up as much space horizontally as possible. Um, and you might also see fill parent, which um, I think in Android 2.2, fill parent was changed to match parent. But it means exactly the same thing, although fill parent is perhaps a bit more descriptive. Now I'm going to type layout underscore H, control space, um, and there's, there's nothing magical about what I'm typing here. It's just that you need to type enough characters that the autocomplete um, knows what you mean, basically. And um, I'm going to type here again M and control space. And now I'm going to press, I'm going to hold down control and shift and press F just to automatically format that. And that also works on Java code, and it's, it's a really great shortcut. And um, I think at the absolute minimum that would do. So let's just um, save everything and let's just run this. Click the green run button. And so down here it says uploading notescroll.apk onto device emulator and installing it. And it says success. So let's click the emulator and have a look. And here we've got a, um, an area where the user can enter text. And I'm just going to click in there. And um, there we go, the keyboard's popped up and I can type text in here via the keyboard. It's a little bit slow, but it's okay. 
Um, now, um, one thing you'll notice about this, I don't know if we can hide the keyboard, I think the, um, yeah, there must be a way, but I don't really know what it is. Um, but one thing you, you probably noticed is that the text is appearing in the middle of the text view, which looks especially strange when the um, keyboard has um, has kind of uh, appeared like this, because it seems to appear at the bottom of the screen. And if we want to, want it to appear at the top, which I feel I do, um, we can have another attribute here. Actually, if you just put your cursor there and press Control Space, you can see a list of all possible attributes. And uh, the one I want down here is gravity. So Android gravity. And if I just set that to, I'll just type T control space and control shift and F again. If I set the Android column gravity attribute to top, that's going to make my text um, move to the top. So let's just click this run button again. And again, it says uploading, installing, and with a bit of luck, it's going to say success, and there we are. Here we are, actually. And there, now the text can be typed at the top. If I click in here, um, it looks much better. Okay, for, so that's uh, that's more than enough for this tutorial. And we've we've covered, we've kind of glossed over a lot of details really quickly, but we're going to return to everything um, in more depth as this series of tutorials progresses. And in the next tutorial, we're going to move on to adding a save button here. So join me again next time and you can find more information about um, Android stuff at www.caverprogramming.com slash Android. Um, and until next time, happy coding.